Joining us now, Chief Washington correspondent and the host of Face the Nation, Bob Schieffer. Bob, good morning. Good morning. You have seen lots of second terms. Uh, this one came in on a big political victory, wanting to do things. And there now this picture one of an intrusive government and yet a president who seems like a bystander in his own government. Yeah, I mean, you know, people were talking um, in Washington about that. Some people were saying, are we back to the Nixon administration? This is what they did in the Nixon administration. This is not the Nixon administration where you had burglars and people talking about blowing up the Brookings Institution. This is more of a case, is anybody home? Yes. I mean, just all of a sudden, well, you have this thing over at the Justice Department. They're over there, you know, getting all these phone records of all the reporters. The Attorney General, well, he didn't know anything about it. You get to the IRS, they don't seem to know anything about the Tea Party thing. You come to the White House, they don't know anything about Benghazi. I mean, somebody has got to grab hold of this thing. And I mean, I, you know, it's, uh, it, it's very, very disturbing what we're seeing here. What do you make of the president's actions yesterday? I mean, he dealt with all three things yesterday. Fired the head of the IRS, he released 100 pages of emails that deal with Benghazi, and then on the third scandal, the snooping into these AP reporters' phone records, the president then put out that he's for this shield law for journalists. The White House took a lot of proactive action yesterday. They did, but it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, why, how is it these things all, you know, nobody seems to have been taken very seriously up until this point. There is no question, though, that the administration was trying to get the story out that the war on terrorism, the threat of ter terrorism had been lessened. It wasn't as serious as it, as it had been pictured. And that erupts into this thing with all these emails. We see at the State Department, the spokesman there saying, my higher ups in the building are worried about this. Well, which higher ups? Uh, why were the higher ups? Uh, You're speaking about, about Victoria this? Newland, who yes. is the State Department spokesperson, and in these yeah. emails back and forth, she was saying my higher ups uh, were worried about this. And the question is, it was at the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. And we still don't know. We still don't know the answer to that. It's a pretty easy thing. I mean, obviously, I think the president did the right thing in letting the temporary head of the uh, IRS go. But the, uh, but what happens now? I mean, where does this go from here? I mean, uh, that should not have happened. But it all stems, it all goes to the center of government, the Oval Office, doesn't it? I mean, the president has to take control of his own government. Well, and, and you know, that's, that's where you're seeing some of the criticism now. I mean, you know, there's no question that the, the situation in Washington is as toxic as I've ever seen it. But, you know, you're now seeing those on the left saying, uh, you know, the president's got to start participating in the presidency, I believe is the way that Dana Milpack yeah. uh, phrased it in the Washington Post. This is not somebody coming at it from yeah. the right. The yeah. president's got some serious problems here, and can he grab hold of this? If he doesn't, he's yeah. not going to get anything done uh, in this second term. Right. I mean, think, I think that's the bottom line. Bob Schieffer, oh. thank you. And the purple tie looks nice. Oh, well, thank you. Well. <laughs> and you too, Charlie. <laughs> Everybody purple. in purple. Your purple well, looks I, nice I, as well. I, I look for guidance on fashion from Schieffer. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> Be sure to watch Face the Nation on Sunday morning. That's right here on CBS.